Sakura Oh shit Welcome back to Shinobi Striker. Season 4 is upon us and War Sakura is the first DLC character. Kicking off the season with quite the treat for heal types, with some unconventional jutsu that are very useful for supporting a team, but not really the best at healing. Sakura is without a doubt a strong support character, but to heal your team you'll need to rely on healing tags and other jutsu. And we're gonna take a look at everything you get when you buy Sakura. And also take a look at the new attack types ultimate that you get if you decide to buy the season pass. And I know this video is late, but I was on vacation last week and because of that, we're just doing the review for this character. We won't have the usual gameplay video with loadout suggestions, so as a part of this review, I'll also recommend a few loadouts as well that I feel were working really well and complemented her jutsu nicely. But before we get to Sakura, let's talk about that attack type ultimate jutsu, the Super Uzumaki Rasengan. It's basically a big Rasengan that you throw, that's pretty much it. This ultimate absolutely sucks at close range, the tracking on it isn't that great, so if you try to throw it at someone who's close to you, chances are you will miss. So it's an ultimate that you want to use at some range and in that situation it can be quite good and pretty much guarantees a kill. Despite the Rasengan size I wasn't able to get many multi kills with this, it was pretty much just a single target every single time. But the ultimate charges pretty quickly so I guess that's fine. It does take ages to fire though, the animation for building up the Rasengan is so long that if the opponent happens to be looking in your direction they may be able to hide behind some obstacle to avoid it. And I feel like attack types have so many ultimates that are a lot better than this, if all you're chasing is a single kill there are a lot of options out there. It makes this ultimate look a bit bad by comparison. Overall, I don't think it's worth getting the season pass just for this ultimate. If you're getting the season pass because you know you'll play all the DLC, then sure, it can be a fun thing to try out, but it's not something that you need to go out of your way to buy because it's really not that special. But let's talk Sakura. First up, what does Sakura give you outside Jutsu? She's got two outfits, the last battle outfit, which is a top and bottom, that comes with some healer focused skills, along with the Sakura outfit 3, which is also a complete outfit with top and bottom, with skills that are a bit more aggressive, encouraging that combat healer role. But of course you can always change the skills if you just like the look of the outfits. Sakura also comes with two different hairstyles, you've got Sakura the last hairstyle from the movie, as well as Sakura after the great war, which as usual can be equipped by male and female characters. Finally you get a lobby action called maybe next time, that looks like this, and the title the fifth Hokage's disciple. But let's talk about the stuff that matters, let's break down her jutsu. First up, strength of a hundred flower cannon, a jutsu that grants allies with a chakra of 100 ninjas, increases everyone's attack power and speeds up ninjutsu cooldowns while recovering your own health. Just like the description says, it only heals you when you cast it. The heal is alright, it looks like a healing tag amount, but it only affects you and not your allies. Your allies do get an attack power buff and cooldown reduction, which allows them to be a bit more aggressive. The range on this jutsu is really good and the cooldown is short enough that you should have it available for every team fight. You also have super armor when you cast this, so you cannot be interrupted while buffing your allies and healing yourself, which is a big deal for heal types who constantly get swarmed by the enemy team, so having a self heal that is armored is really good. That said, because this ability doesn't heal allies, you either need to be running healing tags or another jutsu that can heal them, that is if you're the only healer on the team. Running two healers on the same team is a very viable strategy in this game, and I feel like that's where Sakura's jutsu shine the most, because this makes for a fantastic second healer build. Running this jutsu with healing tags and truth seeker orb allows you to focus on denying opponent capturing points while disabling their jutsu. Or if you don't like that or don't want to be too close to the action, running this with something like air palm to disable opponents from a distance can also be good. You can keep yourself healed with this jutsu and save healing tags for your teammates. That said, if you're solo healing, since healing tags are your only method for healing your team, it might be a good idea to run the skill that reduces ninja tool cooldowns on your outfit. Comparing this to super lightweight boulder, I don't think it's quite as good. This one buffs attack power, which super lightweight doesn't, but super lightweight buffs your team movement speed and charges their ultimate jutsu, not to mention it also shortens the substitution jutsu cooldown. So overall I don't think this is a jutsu I'll be using in the future, it feels like super lightweight boulder is still the go to. However, since Sakura's flower cannon can heal you, it does allow you to play a bit more aggressively if you like that playstyle as a heal type. Next up, strength of 100 hard light, a jutsu that uses the chakra of 100 ninjas to fortify the user's body against powerful attacks. This is almost like a parry, but not quite. The jutsu is this little burst 
it doesn't have a lot of range, but it's not supposed to. It's a defensive move that blows opponents back while giving you super armor. And if you time it right, it also heals you. According to the description, it can be activated mid-attack, but like most things in this game, lag can completely break that. I've been able to activate it while being attacked, and other times the move just wouldn't activate. Or it would, and I would see the aura, but the super armor wouldn't kick in, so I'd still get juggled. That said, when it's working, it's still a move that looks very boring. All it does is blow the opponent back, it doesn't even damage them, and you gotta time it right for it to even heal you. It feels like a pointless move, but folks, this is probably the best move Sakura brings to the game. Her ultimate is also good, and we'll get to that, but this, while simple, is exactly what heal types needed. When you're up against a solid, coordinated team, what's the worst thing that you have to deal with as a heal type? Is it healing your team, or is it healing with three attack types rushing you down and melting your health bar? This is the jutsu that gives you space, the jutsu that blows back attackers and says get away from me. Not only blowing opponents back, but also giving you super armor for a short period of time, which means that if you're running healing tags or another healing jutsu, they cannot interrupt your healing during this brief period of armor. And when it's working correctly, it can make you such an annoying healer to deal with, because you have the substitution jutsu to escape combos, but you also have this ability, and it allows you as a heal type to stay in the action and participate in the fight. So as far as loadouts go, you can go two ways with this. If your team has enough self-healing with abilities like Demon Hunter or Subterranean Voyage, then you can build aggressive. Always take those healing tags because they're gonna need some healing at some point, but you can take an aggressive jutsu like Nervous System Rapture. This particular loadout is even great for carrying flags because Nervous Rapture travels a lot and you've got the super armor from Hard Light to carry the flag without flinching. On the other hand, if you think your team might need healing, then you can make your team incredibly hard to kill as a solo healer with healing tags and cellular extraction. Even as you're getting attacked, if you pop Hard Light, it gives you armor and you can use both cellular extraction and healing tags before the armor expires. Now you do need a team that can protect you somewhat decently because you can keep opponents at bay for a bit, but if they keep focusing you while your abilities are on cooldown, you will still die. This Jutsu will probably be on my main healer build for a while. I think it's really good, even though it looks deceivingly simple. I just wish it worked consistently. Lag can ruin this Jutsu like many others in the game. And finally, let's talk about Sakura's ultimate, the 100 Healings Jutsu. It increases your own attack power, movement speed and attack speed while healing allies around you. And once you activate it again, it becomes the Cherry Blossom Hurricane, which is a huge punch that deals heavy damage to all opponents in the area. This ultimate is almost like the opposite of her first Jutsu. If you remember Flower Cannon, it buffed the entire team, but only healed the user. This ultimate buffs the user, but heals the entire team. And it's a stage-wide heal, very similar to Tsunade's Slug Long Distance Healing, which immediately makes this one of the best heal type Jutsu currently in the game. The downside to using this instead of Tsunade's is that this one does not charge your team's ultimate gauge, doesn't raise your teammate's defense, and doesn't remove status ailments. But on the upside, it buffs the crap out of you, and you get a devastating attack once you activate it again. Now, this attack isn't great for chasing kills since its range isn't the best, but if you're protecting a point or being attacked, then it works pretty well. This second activation doesn't quite kill an opponent in one shot, but it deals a decent amount of damage. To me, this ultimate stands in a weird middle ground in this game, and ultimately, I don't know if it will be used a lot by heal types. The ultimate itself is good, but if you want to go pure healer, I still think Tsunade's is slightly better. And if you want that hybrid between healing and killing opponents upon a second activation, then Last Battle Naruto is still way better, because those massive Rasen Shuriken track the opponent so well, and they actually kill if they connect, whereas this is harder to land, and even if you do land it, you're just gonna deal some damage and not necessarily get kills. But I will say that I was able to charge this ultimate a lot faster than any of those other two ultimates. It feels a lot more reliable, even without any skill to build ultimate faster on my outfit. So all in all, Sakura has a really good jutsu in my opinion, that's exactly what heal types needed. The other two are okay, but it feels like there are some better options for heal types right now. They still have their uses and might fit your playstyle better. Flower Cannon, for instance, is not as good of a support jutsu as Lightweight, but since it also heals you, it allows you to be more aggressive. And 100 healings isn't as strong as Tsunade Slug or Naruto's Rasen Shuriken, but it's more reliable and easier to build up over the course of a match. Overall, it could be better, but this isn't a bad DLC for heal types at all. And that's the Sakura review. If you've played around with her jutsu, let me know what you thought of them and what loadouts are you running. I'd love to read all of that in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Boy!